Hey everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. So I am so excited for this video because I am finally going to this epic bookstore that surprisingly, shockingly in fact, I have never gone to. So I have lived off and on just outside of Columbus for the past like 20 years and there is this huge bookstore called The Book Loft in German Village, which is just right outside of the city. So this place is awesome, it's historic, it's got 32 rooms, and German Village is just a very cute part of Columbus. It's very quaint, as the name suggests. There's a lot of German heritage. I've heard a lot of people say how good some of the restaurants are, but yeah, I've just never gone. So my husband Ryan and I are like not really city people at all. We really like living like 20 to 30 minutes outside of the city and getting all the rewards of being five minutes from a Target and things like that. But we're just not people that really like to go down into the city, so we just don't most of the time. But it has been on my bucket list to go to the book loft for quite a while now. We've rescheduled it a lot of times, but tonight we are going to the book loft. It's about six o'clock now and actually thankfully, the book loft is open until 11 o'clock at night. So that's very atypical for a bookstore, of course, and I'm not sure how crowded it will be. I don't know how many people will be going there on a Wednesday evening, which is what it is today, but I don't really have any plans. I would just like to peruse. Of course, it's like illegal to go to a bookstore without buying a book, so I'm sure I will find something. I'm thinking I'll probably get the new Kate Atkinson book, but if they have anything on sale, that's where I'll be headed. But yeah, I hope you enjoy and do let me know if you have ever been to the book loft. And if you don't live in Ohio, let me know what state you're in and what is the most epic bookstore in your state. But all right, let's get going. The bookstore is waiting for us. Imagine if I shaved it all. Just the stash. Don't do that. No. Why? I've already gone this far. I might as well fully commit. Stashed up. from the book loft and it just was the most magical place 
I couldn't really capture it on camera, but there were just so many little rooms, 32 little rooms to be exact, and just had so much character. I love going to anything historical, and I will definitely, definitely be going back to the book loft in the future. Maybe around Christmas time, I'll go back because I'm sure that area is just so perfectly Christmas in December. And there's also a little coffee shop that is right next to the book loft. So I would definitely like to go back another day and just spend a little bit more time in the area. But I would highly recommend if you live anywhere around here <laughs> to go to the book loft and it's a great one to put on your bookstore bucket list, even if you don't live in Ohio. But okay, first up, <laughs> This was a total impulse buy, but I got this adorable little tote for my niece. I just absolutely love the size of it, and I like that it says little golden books on there, and then the back has a lot of little animals and some pattern. What is that, like floral leaves? So very, very cute. My niece will be three in December, so maybe it'll be birthday, maybe it'll be Christmas present, but I just absolutely love this. And then the other non-book related purchase I got is this magnet. I love just like funny little magnets. So there it is, two little puppies, so, so cute. The one says, you know what your problem is? And the other one says, I'm incurably cute. So nothing to do with books, whatever, but I think they know the type of people that like to visit their probably like cute puppy magnets, right? All right, and then I ended up getting three books. Of course, I wanted to buy like a hundred, but I figured three was plenty, especially because I do have quite a lot to read this month and next already. But this one I decided to pick up mostly because of the price. So this was only $10. It says you save 63%. I think everything was on sale at least 5% from like a typical Barnes and Noble or store like that. But some books were really on super sale. And this is one I have really been wanting to read for a while, I've been hearing a lot about it. This is An American Marriage by Tayari Jones. So this might be one I read during my month of book talk books in March, I think I'm gonna do that. So I might save this for then. This one was a bit of a splurge, and if you can see, this does have just a little 5% off mark, but I have been wanting to pick up a copy of Little Women because I'm gonna be reading it in December. I think I read this when I was really young, and honestly, I might not have ever even gotten through it, but Little Women is one of my absolute favorite classic stories in general. I love the movie, the Susan Sarandon version, of course. But I've been thinking that I wanted to start collecting these Chiltern classics, so I figured I would just spend the extra bit of money and get a copy of this book that I really, really liked. But this book is absolutely gorgeous. It has like a 3D feel to it. I think it is so, so pretty, and yeah, I'm not mad at all that I did get this version compared to like the $5 one. And then last but not least is Frederick Bachman's The Winners. This just came out, and it is the third book in the Beartown series, and I do really like those books. They're not my absolute favorite by Frederick Bachman, but I did very much intend to finish the series, and I decided to get this at Bookloft because it says it's 30% off the publisher's list price, and I thought that was a really good deal for a book that has not been out very long at all, and this is on my list of books to read during December. So I knew I was gonna pick it up, and I was glad to get it for at least a little bit of a discount. But that was everything that I ended up getting at the book loft. I do hope you enjoyed, because I'd like to make that a part of this channel, where I go and tour different bookstores and coffee shops in the areas around. So I've got some more bookstore vlogs that will be coming up soon, but do let me know down below, what is your favorite bookstore and where is it? So I can add it to my bookstore bucket list. But if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. It really does help my channel out a lot. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.